This is uh, in response to Concepts of Hell by Alicia Asylum. Alicia's Asylum. I always say it as if Asylum is her surname. But, um, it's kind of funny you use the word Lucifer. Lucifer, it's found in, it's a, actually it's a Latin, it's, it's a Latin name. It comes from the Latin translation of the morning star or the bright star or the luminous one. And in that section of Isaiah, I believe it is, it's actually talking about an Assyrian king um, being cast down. If you actually read the verse, if you're a Bible literalist, then it has to mean an Assyrian king because the whole context is. Uh, I think they get that from the Roman Catholics. Eastern Orthodox might say it is. I don't know. Some might. Uh, but when I say we don't believe in heaven or hell, <clears throat> because there's such loaded terms in the West, when I when I say heaven, and I'll have it in like, uh, I usually have it in brackets or some form. It's just like when I put G dash D. It's the presence of God it's in the kingdom, basically. God, um, heaven, proximity to God, um, and uh, heaven and hell are basically the relationship states in that. So uh, Satan. Is in heaven. Uh, which is where everybody is destined to. But there is torment and wailing and gnashing of teeth if you're in the presence of God and truly hating it. Uh, it's for some it'll be a refining fire, for other it'll be a blazing furnace. It can be ecstasy or it can be torment. It's uh, left up to the individual. Um, Satan or the devil or diabolos or whatever is Satan in the Old Testament is basically a prosecuting angel trying to trip man up to put him before God to see he screwed up and then I guess somebody people will say oh yeah they get tormented by him in, in hell but since they're the same place for us um, some people say well they're farther away from God or something like that they're or it's dark, or some some crazy allegories like this, but uh, <clears throat> essentially, fallen from heaven and thrown into hell is basically his choice to turn against God or anybody. It doesn't matter uh, if he's an agent working on behalf of God. Well, since God controls everything, almost everybody's an agent. <laughs> Everybody is an, is a Satan accusing everybody else. Um, it's more of a term. You actually see the word Satan when it's adversary. David was the adversary of the Philistines. He was the Satan of the Philistines. Or so and so was the adversary. So whenever you say it, it's Shatan. Um, maybe Shatan is actually an Arabic word. I don't know. Maybe I'm mixing things up. Uh, but yeah, we say I'm walking amongst the council of God. Uh, for us, he's kind of like an annoying little gnat. He doesn't bother us. We believe. People who are baptized in the church and are part of the church. He's just not even really a nuisance. It's a you you screw up. You can't be blaming him for everything. Uh, so yeah, the devil's still around. Uh, but yeah, heaven and hell. They're these Western concepts where they're separate, and heaven is this great place where you do whatever you want, or maybe it's clouds or naked babies playing harps, that, no, we reject that. Hell being some different distant place where there's lava and demons poking you with pitchforks, no. It's a good analogy because the demons that are poking you are your demons inside your wickedness, rape, child murder, things like this, Any, or it could be anything that's separating you from God, which would be tormenting you in the, uh, in the afterlife. <laughs> or even in this life, too. This life, you can be in hell. Uh, the Roman Catholics get their idea from purgatory because of this idea of the river of fire, so we all go back to it. Because if you have impurities and you're going to God, as you're reaching God, these are going to be... You're going to turn away from these. These are going to be basically refined away from you, torn off. Uh, so, yeah, that's... He's... Uh, you can be in heaven and hell at the same t time because they're the same place. Now, 
when I said we don't believe in hell, yet no, nothing like the Western idea of hell. I don't even like the word hell because it's a Nordic goddess. It doesn't appear. Um, and it, in the King James Version, it can mean Sheol, it can mean Hades, it can mean Tataros. Take on these other, many weird things or even just descriptions that, that are given. Uh, Jehovah's Witness say Gehenna because Gehenna is, they believe, total annihilation. Uh, but the uh, being refined like fire or burned up like chaff is all throughout the Bible. Um, you can say it's in every single book, but the concept is, is there. Uh, so yeah, he'd be in proximity to the angels. Now, the difference is his heart. I can use that term, not physical heart, but his heart or um, the orientation towards God. Um, it's kind of hard to talk about things that are spatially not available. It's a good question. Peace to you. God save Serbia.